If you're one of those people who absolutely hates parking, parallel parking, alley docking, or any type of parking, especially when there's an audience and it really stresses you out, how about a car that can park itself? Would that be interesting? try the parallel parking story. Parallel parking there and we're gonna start looking for a spot that's big enough for us to fit into. Okay, let's see how it does. And we're in, perfectly. All right, so now let's get out. So parallel parking out. I'm gonna go out to the left side, indicate with the left, put it into drive, it takes over. And says, right, take control of the steering wheel. I've done the hard work. Very cool. Okay, same as before, you tell the car what you want to do, perpendicular, you drive until it tells you to stop because it finds a space for you, and it simply takes over. Just follow the instructions. For this test, I came in at a very, very steep, obscure angle, and you'll see that it goes over the line, and I wanted to see how the car would handle such a situation. So as you can see, I'm over the line, and the car has given me an instruction that it needs to readjust. So I stick it into drive, again it takes over, I do not touch the steering wheel, and it just realigns itself, putting it in a better position to reverse into that parking perfectly. Well done. Very important to stress that during these parking maneuvers, what you do is let go of the steering wheel. You follow the instructions. So you take your foot off the brake and let the car roll forward or backwards into positioning. But as soon as you touch the steering wheel, it cancels the maneuver and you got control. So lane assist, that's a pretty cool feature as well. On the Ford EcoBoost on the right side, you enable that by touching the button on the stalk. And on your dash, you'll see a little picture of a car with two lanes, left and right. As soon as your car starts to drift to the left or to the right out of your lane, you have a visual cue. It goes from green to red. If you continue to drift, a little shudder in the steering wheel happens, very much like driving over the cat's eyes in the middle of the road. And that's enough of a wake-up call to make sure that, you put, that you're back into your lane. Now, it's amazing how many times I land up feeling that shudder and I didn't realize I was actually drifting out of my lane. So a great, great safety feature. Now, of course, if you use your indicator and you're indicating to the left or to the right, the car knows that you're meaning to change lanes and therefore you do not get the, in the warning or the shudder because you're obviously meaning to do that. So very, very cool, especially for those late night drivers and those long distance drivers. This is a good safety feature, just keeping you within your lane. I really dig what Ford is doing with their technology in their vehicles. They're yet again pushing the envelopes, yet again creating the platform for the autonomous vehicle. The data that they're collecting from thousands and thousands of vehicles on the road every single day is just going to make our roads safer when the next evolution comes. 
I had the pleasure of riding in one of the Ford Autonomous vehicles. I'll put a link. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere on this page for it. Check that out as well. And I'll see you on the next episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers for now.